Welcome to Shawnee Union this week. Another quick video, but I'll be going what I have in my refrigerator, my film in the fridge. So um, I've gotten a lot of cool film over time. Kind of want to share with you guys where what I have and then how I got it and then um, what I plan on doing with it. All right, so let's switch to the fridge. I can't take that. This is the film pulled out of the fridge. Let's talk about black and white film first. I have a lot of kind of 100s that I don't use a lot. If you want to trade with me for these 100s, feel free to, but Kent Mirror 100, T-Max 100, Hill for Delta 100. Another Kent Mirror 100. And um, these, this came from Film Develop on Twitter, uh, Ultra Fine Extreme, and then Ilford FP4. Um, I bought this. I was going to do a comparison of 100 speed films, black and white, but I really don't like that speed. I shoot a lot of indoor and then street stuff, and 100 um, is more for like landscape and things like that. So not heavily used by me. Um, for black and white, I prefer this guy. So this is my favorite HP5. Um, I pushed it to 1600. Really versatile, great color, great contrast, and great definition. Um, great everything, really. So. This is what I love at the moment. For color film, you know, I kind of like cheap color film. So Kodak Gold 200, Kodak 400, Kodak 800 Max. Um, local film shop just sells it um, pretty cheap. So I just bought, I buy it in bulk. Um, Fuji Color 200. Uh, the, the Kodaks, I really like the way they handle greens and yellows. Um, and then for Fuji Color, it handles blues and reds really well. So. Kind of weird how it happens like that, but um, cheap color film. These are like $2 each. Uh, this was sent to me by Ben Soto, E200 Ectochrome. Um, probably gonna develop this cross process C41, uh, a little bit cheaper. And um, I don't know what I'm gonna shoot at. If it's E200 and it's really old, probably 50, just to be safe. Two kind of another cheap uh, color films, uh, Super HQ 200, um, in line with these ones. And then this is a new one, Lomochrome Purple. It makes greens and blues look really different. So excited to shoot this, saving it for a special day, um, either at the beach or somewhere with a lot of grass. Um, but excited about this one. Slide film. Don't shoot a lot of slide film because of the extra cost in developing. Um, but Velvia 100 is pretty awesome. Um, low speed, so good for outdoors and good for landscapes, good for a lot of things. So be saving this for a special day. This is Acris 100 in here. Pull it out. Kind of waiting for a special day to shoot this too. May use a red filter on this guy, but people really like Acros. People like swear by it. So I have a roll of that just to try. So weird hand rolls from David, um, ADS is really ADS. Uh, I think it's a pretty low speed black and white film. And then 522, which I'm really interested, which I really like, um, a Kodak motion picture film. And it just looks pretty badass. It's um, uh, really, really kind of the grain structure is interesting and it gives really cool um, shadows and um, contrast. So 522, I usually push it, it's like 250. I push it to like a thousand, but uh, useful, very useful. And thanks David Hancock for sending me this stuff. I'll actually be, I'll be sending this out to David. So um, Ilford 4x5 HP 5400. I think that I, if I were to go back, I wouldn't buy 400. I would actually buy a lower speed film. So I'd get this and this version, FP4. Because 4x5 cameras are a little bit slower and you don't need that much speed. So... Um, HP5 may be pushing a little bit when you come to black and white, um, 4x5, but I think he'll find use for it. Then my 120 stock, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, this is all new stuff I got from Michael from New York. Met him on Twitter. He traded, I traded him, um, I forgot what I traded him. I think some black and white film, uh, black and white 100 film. I gave him three or four rolls of this kind of stuff that I was stockpiling when using it, but he gave me for Delta 400. Um, this is another Ilford, and then this is Delta 3200, so pretty interesting. I think he said it was 10 years, so I'll probably be shooting these a little bit lower, but black and white film, love it. Um, 
especially 120. I don't buy a lot of it, so it's nice to do that. And then uh, this is I think slide film Fuji color 400. Um, not 100% sure. I got it for really cheap at my camera store, like two bucks. Uh, Velvia 50 sent by David, I believe. And I'm um, excited to use this one too. More slide phone. And then these guys are just Lomography 800, 100, 100. Uh, Lomography stuff is, I think, it's pretty decent. I think we're shooting color. It doesn't really, you know, I don't think it's as refined as these guys who've been doing it for a long time. But it's getting there and it's pretty good. So. Um, the 800, I think this one David sent me, and then I bought these two. So that's the 120 stuff. And the last thing in here, a foam puller. So on my Leica, I sometimes um, overwind the film when I'm loading it. It's a, it's kind of a hard pain in the butt to load. So um, I bought one of these just in case, and it's paid for itself because I've had to use it on a couple rolls. So um, comes in handy. This one's highly recommended too. Hope you guys enjoyed that video of what's in my fridge locker. Um, I have a lot of different films and for a lot of different reasons, but um, getting any film you like and then sticking with it, I think is a cool thing too, but I'm still experimenting with a lot of color films. Black and white, I'm pretty sad on HP5, so, um, but having extra film is never a bad thing. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. If any films you think I should try or you don't think is in my fridge and I should have in my fridge, let me know in the comments or your favorite films um, that you have or expired films you think are pretty interesting too. I like to hear about that stuff, so. Thank you guys, I will be back again next week.